is going on Nissan Nation? Dave and Kelly here. We are looking for something fun for the channel. Kelly, we got like, what, roughly five to $6,000 we want to spend on a Nissan. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Titan here is going away. The lease is up and uh, we need to find something fun. And uh, right now what we're seeing is a Juke or a Q. I mean, even you could look at a 350Z, something like that, but we expect high miles, like high miles, like 150K or more probably, but we're going to, this is our car for the next year till the Frontier pops up and we want to just have some fun with it. So let's go find some cars. Car number one is a 2011 Juke, but look at the little six speed. Kind of looks fun. I don't know what to think of it. Um, once again, we are looking for something silly, fun Nissan. All right, so we are driving a 2011 uh, Juke, manual transmission Juke. Uh, seems a little peppy, honestly, at the beginning. I'm, I'm quite surprised how peppy this thing is. Of course, it's, it's kind of raining, so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, it's pretty, actually a pretty little cool car, man. Does, uh, having a manual in this is definitely very cool. We'll, we'll take it down the road here and see what we can do. Right at 105,000 on it. The little key fob lights blinking because the key fob battery is basically dead. And uh, of course, this is at a, at a not a, a big dealership, so they were like kind of backwards about the whole thing. Definitely feel a little vibration in a tire. I don't know if they need balanced or what's going on with that. You can just feel it in the steering wheel, just just slightly. Nothing, nothing probably ridiculous, but uh, definitely want a car fax on this thing. So far, so good. I'm a little scared of the the stick shift. I'll be real honest. Yeah, Kelly's not a big fan of sticks, so you can drive them. It's not like it's not I like can't. it's not like you can't drive no, them. No, but I kill I kill clutches because I like to I like to ride the clutch a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Take this thing back to the dealership. Overall, I like this car a lot. I want to see a car fax on this one. Maybe uh, find and see if there's another one around, but uh, the price isn't too bad. They're asking sixty nine for it, I think, or sixty five. I can't remember. That needs to be negotiated slightly, but uh, I like it. All right, all right. By now, it, it's pretty obvious. You can see from from where we're at so far in this video. We bought a Juke, boys. We did it. I'm uh, super pumped about it. I've liked these things forever. I really have. Um, let's get into why here. Let's jump right into that. Here she is, a 2011 Juke. And you're probably thinking, Dave, why a Juke? And why not? It, I, my goal for, for a car that I needed right now, it had to be something different. It couldn't be just the same old, same old car, Altima, Rogue, something like that, because we're gonna have fun with this. So I'm planning a wrap. You're gonna see a wrap in the next couple weeks. I'll show you a design that I've got in mind for this thing. I'm, pretty sure new exhaust on it it's uh um, 105,000 miles on this one tires it needs tires don't dig the rims at all but the buttons are here right and you're going to look at it. you can see there's there's nicks and stuff on it i mean this is a car that's that's you know seen some miles but that was the idea behind it it was find something that it was going to be this or a cube something like that just something different it didn't have to be a currently you know in production vehicle but just something that we could uh, have some fun with like i said there's there's little dings and there's up here there's dings in the pillars stuff we'll uh we'll touch on but nothing nothing you know i'm not going to go nuts with this thing as far as as far as the paint work and stuff i am going to wax it that's first thing we're going to do is wax it and uh you know clean it up just a little bit now i literally brought this home just recently so here's the inside ignore the ignore the garbage in there so pretty sporty on the inside yeah a little bit of a little bit of a z look there i mean you know granted this is a juke but when i knew i was going to get a juke here's here's what it had to have it had to have a six-speed manual transmission i i just didn't want to do the the cvt i mean no matter it had to, once again the car had to be fun now if i would have gotten a cube or something obviously it would have had a, a cvt automatic transmission but either way the car had to be fun and i i i've dug these things since they came out i remember looking at the uh, the concept they did of course it was a little bigger looking but I just, I really, really like these things. The radio and all that, I'm going to leave alone. I, I have no desire. Like, it would be, if I was going to keep this car, it might be fun to, to do the radio. But in this, why? Like, I literally, this is just 
we're having this just for a year and then it moves on to somebody else so Actually, danny would hate this but it does have a sunroof which i like sunroofs here we love them I and mean, obviously it pops open and all that but let's look in the back let's look at the back of this thing and see so i like a hatchback i really do i've always liked hatchbacks um my one of my first i guess loves of the hatchback would be the old volkswagens the old rabbits and stuff that you could get like that but big cargo room in here i really like it uh as you can see the seats push button let's see we pull it down bam all the way down gives you a little extra room obviously if you put them both down you have a lot more room look, look at all that space i mean this really was for for the purpose of this vehicle it was very practical it it you know large large area just just a fun little vehicle but this the cool thing about this car too was it came from las vegas so and then it's got it's got some uh, podcast heritage with it before we even knew about it so this car actually was serviced at regal nissan september of 2019 they replaced a cv i believe in it so a little bit of i mean you know i love i was reading up on the design of this i love it. it's shaped after a motorcycle uh gas tank that was the i i guess the inspiration behind that um the inspiration behind the car itself what you see like this the slant of the the glass the way it does was supposed to be a motorcycle visor now uh, were these practical family cars i don't know i guess it depends on the size of your family but Hello. look at there the, sydney how much room do you have there it looks like you have quite a bit a sitting like you're normally sitting there so how old are you nine nine so nine to nine to 16 17 easily i think that works perfect and uh let's move to the front ready? All right, so let's look under the hood. So, you can see a little 1.6 liter engine in this thing. It's a turbocharged engine. Um, the insides of it was super, it's really, really clean. I was very surprised how clean this car was. Now granted, <clears throat> you're not good, it's not from the rust belt, obviously, you can tell that. But, you know, it's a tight space. Uh, the turbo's in the back. It, um, pretty basic, air, little air box. I can't wait to, uh, to maybe take this to Z1? What? Z1? What if we did? What if we took this little thing to Z1 and see what we could get out of this little engine? That might be fun. Sid, you wanna go to Z1? Yeah! yeah let's go to Z1 and uh, see what can happen with this thing. All right, so this is our 2011 Juke. Guys, hopefully, hopefully, I, I know it might be a surprise to some, maybe not. Once again, I was looking for a Z, but just couldn't find, either Zs are just too expensive or they're just ragged out that I'm not gonna put that kind of money into, especially for a limited time we're gonna own this car. Um, we're gonna have some fun with this, guys. We really are. I've got plans for this thing. I think it's gonna be fun. I don't see a lot of people doing anything with these things uh, on YouTube. I've, I've researched a little bit. Uh, obviously, there's juke forums. There's all kinds of stuff, especially with the Generation 2 in Europe. They're doing all kinds of cool stuff with it, but I just don't see anybody doing anything with these, you know, to have fun like I'm going to. So, from all things Nissan here, my, my driveway to yours, this is your Nissan Nation podcast, and I'm your host, David Boyd. Peace.